How are we starting today's show? We're starting with Chiefs Bills. Oh, yeah. The Bills travel to KC to take on your Chiefs, who are underdogs at home. Underdogs at home. Yep. I mean, I kind of understand it. They barely snuck one out against the Raiders the other day. Yeah. Uh, last year, the Bills beat them in the week five matchup, but obviously Kansas City won when they faced them in the playoffs. Yeah. I know you're going to say Mahomes shouldn't be a home fa- I mean, home underdog or underdog at all. Yeah. But given the way the season's kind of panned out, you know, the Bills have done a lot of great things. Mm-hmm. And like I said, the Chiefs just played the Raiders and barely won. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, but would you be willing to put your, your money where your mouth is if you're going to say that Mahomes shouldn't be an underdog? I'm definitely betting the Chiefs. I, this is not a game. Listen, what I, I want to talk about the game and then I want to talk about the ideas surrounding the game. Could I be? Could the Bills win? Of course they could win. So, but do I think there's value on the Chiefs plus two and a half? Yeah. I mean, Mahomes, this is his 42nd career home game. He's never been an underdog prior to this. He's only been an underdog eight games in his entire career ever. By the way, he's won six of those outright, and he's 7-0-1 against the spread in the eight games where he's an underdog. He was an underdog. He was a favorite in 38 consecutive starts. Yeah. And then he was underdog two weeks ago, and now he's underdog again. Okay? So do I think that's out of line? Yeah, I think that's out of line. And by the way, I haven't looked at the look-ahead lines, but next week, they're at San Francisco. I wonder if they're going to make him an underdog there. We'll see how this week goes. Uh, but, but here is my frustration on this conversation surrounding Patrick Mahomes, Josh Allen, the Kansas City Chiefs, and the Buffalo Bills. Everybody loves talking about that Chiefs-Bills playoff game. And it was an epic playoff game. There is no doubt about that. Yeah. But they talk about it as if Josh Allen outplayed Patrick Mahomes. In fact, I think that is the general sentiment that Josh Allen was the best player on the field. It is flatly not accurate in that football game. Josh Allen threw for 330 yards. Patrick Mahomes threw for 380 yards. Oh, but Josh Allen on the ground. Josh Allen ran the ball 11 times for 68 yards and no touchdowns. Patrick Mahomes ran the ball seven times for 69 yards and one touchdown. So he threw for more yards. He ran for more yards. In that football game, they both had passer ratings of 125 plus. And Patrick Mahomes... It in the spot of adversity, down three with 13 seconds left, found a way to get his team in field goal range. This is not a situation where Allen was unbelievable, Mahomes was mediocre, and they won because of a blocked field goal or a kick return touchdown. If Allen was an A plus, then Mahomes was an A plus. So why and and the, the other massive frustration I have is people are saying. This is Brady Manning. And maybe one day it will be. But the virtue of Brady Manning, the mom said, you were too young. But Tom Brady won all the championships. Peyton Manning had all the stats. So it wasn't until 2006 that Manning eventually beat Brady in the playoffs for the first time. Prior to that game, Peyton Manning had two MVPs. Brady had zero. Peyton Manning had six. First or second team all pros, Brady had zero. Peyton Manning had all the regular season numbers, but Brady was 2-0 and against him in the playoffs and had, won, had been to three Super Bowls and won three Super Bowls. Manning had been to zero Super Bowls. They're like, oh, it's Brady Manning. Mahomes is Brady. Allen's Manning. Except Mahomes is 2-0 and against Allen in the playoffs, and he's the only one with an MVP. He has more all pros. He is the, he, he, he's both of them. Mahomes has the better numbers and the playoff resume. Why does Josh Allen get to be Tom Brady or Peyton Manning? Josh Allen, if we're being honest, if we're comparing him to someone of Tom Brady's era early in his career, is Ben Roethlisberger, a really talented, big, strong quarterback who up to this moment hasn't won sh**. And, oh, pardon me, sorry, forgot we're on YouTube Live. And is not a, and doesn't have the stats that Mahomes has. So the Bills have built their entire team to beat the Chiefs. They've said they're obsessed about beating the Chiefs. The addition, so if we want to break down this actual game, here is what I am concerned about. Von Miller 
speed rushing on Orlando Brown concerns me. Now, Vaughn likes to line up against the right tackle. That's Andrew Wiley. But Vaughn Miller could wreck this game. The Chiefs secondary. Devontae, like, could the Bills throw a bunch of bombs and get pass interference penalties like the Raiders should have done more of? That concerns me. The Chiefs' inability to deal with mobile quarterbacks. Josh Allen's killed him on quarterback runs. That concerns me. Yeah. The Chiefs' number one draft pick, Trent McDuffie, is back this week off IR. I'm glad he's back. First game against Stephon Diggs, Gabe Davis. That's tough. Now, what is good is Harrison Butker is back this week. So, finally, the Chiefs' kicking situation is going to be settled. The Bills absolutely could win this game. But I am going to – but the Bills won this game in the regular season last year and then spit up enough regular season games that they lost the home field advantage to the Chiefs. Here's my final Bills Chiefs take. This is a must win game for the Buffalo Bills because they absolutely cannot, in a year where they went out and got Von Miller and the Chiefs went out and traded away their best receiver, where they have uh, allegedly the number one defense in football, the Chiefs' defense mediocre, where Allen is playing as well as he's ever played. They cannot squander their best opportunity to have, if they play in the playoffs again, that game be in Buffalo. They have one one thing that Bills fans that like should hold on to is yeah, Mahomes is two and zero, but both those games have been in Arrowhead. Well, if you don't want the next one to be in Arrowhead, you've got to win this game. Right. The Chiefs would like to win this game. They don't have to win this game, and so. I Let's, think they do. You think the Chiefs have to win it or they do win it? Yeah, I think they have to. How come? I just think if they don't if they don't win, people are going to be talking, man. Oh, I know I people like will be talking. I know people will be talking. I feel like this is going to it's whoever wins this game, I feel like it's going to it's going to serve their ego in the right way. So, that, this, this is why I'm saying it's a must win for Buffalo. If the Bills don't win this game, then it starts to be a real question, can we beat this team? Mahomes would then be 4-1 and one against Allen, including the two playoff wins. The reason I don't think the Chiefs have to win is because this game last year, at the exact same point of the season, the Bills didn't only come to Arrow and win. They kicked the Chiefs' ass. And the Chiefs struggled for the next few weeks, and it didn't matter. Hey, thanks for watching. Hit the subscribe button to get more from the show, and make sure to click the bell to get notified every time new content drops. Check out full episodes of What's Right wherever you get your podcasts or just click the link in the description below.